Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY feature videos. For this DIY, I'll be creating an edge away table and table lamp using metal coffee containers and pool noodles. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. For my first DIY, I'll be creating the entryway away table. I'll be starting off using 12 metal coffin containers. I already pre-washed all the containers, next I'll be gluing on the lids. Every time I use these coffee containers for a DIY project, I always get a comment below, do I drink this much coffee? I love coffee, but I also have friends and family who save the containers for me. Next, I'll take three of the containers and I'll glue them together. For a better hold, I'll be applying white duct tape. I repeated all the same steps for a set of four. Next, I'll be using foam bar and I'll place all my containers on top on the edge. Next, I'll take my long ruler and I'll be drawing a straight line to fit all my containers in one area. I use my box cutter to cut it out. I wanted both ends of the foam board to be rounded so I'll use my containers to trace it and then I'll be cutting it out on both sides. Once that was done, I placed my containers back on top. Next, I'll be gluing all my containers in place just by lifting it a little bit on both sides and applying the glue underneath and I'll repeat the same steps on all the rest. Once I was done, I put it aside. Next, I'll be using 12 pool noodles and I already pre-cut one to 23 and a half inches and I'll repeat the same steps on the rest. Once I was done cutting all my pool noodles, I'll be cutting them in half. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms, link below. Next, I'll take my pool noodles and I'll start gluing them on the coffin containers and I'll start by gluing them in between the spaces.
I found that some of the pool noodles were longer than others, so all I did was took a box cutter and cut off the top to make it even with the top. I'll continue gluing on my pool noodles, and if I come across some that are longer than others, I'll cut the top to even it out. One of my pool noodles would not fit in between the gaps, so I took one and I cut it in half and then I glued it in between the gap. And I'll repeat the same steps once I come across the rest. And here is the shape I was going for the top part of the base. Next I'll be cutting off the foam board that shows to stay with the shape of the base and I'll repeat the same steps on the opposite side. Next I'll be painting two coats of white matte paint and primer and this would help before I spray paint to give it that metallic finish. Next, I took gold diamond wrap and I cut them into strips. I'll be gluing the strips in between the pool noodles. I'll repeat the same steps going all the way around. Next, I took foam board and I cut it to size and then I covered it with golden marble contact paper, which is the same contact paper that I have on my table. I apply a generous amount of hot glue on top of the base and then I place my foam board on top. I added weight on top as it's drying. For my second DIY, I'll be creating the table lamp. I'll be starting off with two plastic containers and I'll be leaving the label on and I'll be gluing on the lids. Once I was done, I glued them both together. Next, I took postal board cut to size and I'll be gluing it in the center. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share. It really helps me out a lot and lets me know that you enjoy videos like this. Next, I'll be gluing on pool noodles that I already pre-cut and I'll be gluing them onto the container, staying with the shape of the container. Once I was done, I also painted two coats of white matte paint and primer. I repeated the same steps with the metallic gold spray paint and the diamond wrap. For the top of my lamp base, I took a six inch round cardboard and covered it with the same marble contact paper and then I glued it on top. I 
I also add a weight on top as it's drying. I also use another one to cover the bottom part of the lamp. I took poster board and cut it in half and then I connected both together with clear box tape and then I covered it with white contact paper. Next I took gold glitter designer tape and I'll be applying strips on and the strips will be 7 inches apart. And if you're wondering, I'm making the lamp shade. Once I was done, I added more strips in between the spaces. Next, I took a wheel wreath form and I spray painted metallic gold. Next, I'll be using this container lid and I'll place it on my surface and then I place the wheel on top because I do not want the wheel to be flush to the surface. And then I took my postal board and wrapped it around and held it together using duct tape. Next, I apply hot glue inside to hold both pieces together. Once I was done, I glued it on top of the base. For lighting, I'll be using two LED remote touch lights and all I did was just place them inside. I really do love the way both pieces turned out. Who knew the pool noodles could look so beautiful and glamorous and chic? I know a lot of you have been leaving comments below and it's been getting overwhelming for me to answer everyone's comment. But just because I don't comment does not mean that I don't see them. I love everyone's comments. Let's not forget how glamorous both pieces will look when the lights are off. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy both DIYs as much as I enjoy creating them. Now don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on your notification bells for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.